How many years have we been talking about this passenger terminal at Payne Field? Now it's right under the control tower and look really taking shape. This new two gate terminal, the company propeller airports, the developers going big. Their goal get you from your car through security to the gate in just five minutes. Brett Smith, the CEO of propeller airports, gave us an exclusive look inside where things are really coming together on this new two gate terminal. It'll be home to Alaska Airlines, United and Southwest for a total of 24 daily flights now out of Everett. When you arrive, you'll pull up under a canopy. Valet service is offered inside. Propeller has plans for three TSA lines for just the two gates. The goal is to avoid any wait times at all. The terminal wired, wired for high speed Internet access and has personal bathrooms too. Propeller says it wants to bring back civility to travel. Hospitality is a big part of this. Uh, and I think that that's lost in a lot of uh, airports throughout the country. Um, you know, we, we want customers to use it and enjoy it and to, to make a business that's viable. And in order to do that, you need customers that are happy. Each gate will also have covered jet bridges, so no walking outside. The airport's expected to serve about 600,000 passengers a year. Easier to do with such a small airport. Compare those numbers to, to SeaTac, which serves about 46 million passengers a year. So a lot of business travel expected, but a lot of leisure destinations as well. Remember, those companies are going to start serving Vegas, Southern California, and San Francisco. Got a rendering for you to, to show you here this morning. So this is inside the terminal. Say you're waiting for your flight. You're watching it pull up to the gate. Here's what it would look like. Isn't that nice? That's a lot different than most terminals you'll see. You got the fireplaces, a full bar, so it's kind of a luxury experience in a lot of way. At least that's the goal for a new passenger terminal in Everett.